Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is the boss of the Sector Seven Plate Climb as you make your way to Shinra Tower. This fight's going to feel kind of long because it is airborne for a lot of the fight and unreachable, actually. So when this happens, you need to switch to Barret or cast spells with Clatter Tifa, otherwise you can't attack it. As always, with the machines, you want to bring lightning magic and probably equip the, the elemental materia with that and combine them. This way, uh, your attacks have lightning damage. So I recommend doing that on Barret, just because since the boss is airborne for so long, it just makes the most sense. You also want to cast Thundaga on the boss. This deals a ton of damage to it. It's quite weak to it. it has about 52,000 health. And as you can see on the scan screen, it is weak to lightning and air attacks. So Aeroga or Thundaga will do the trick quite nicely. There is uh, big pieces of debris for you to stand behind in this first phase. I didn't really demonstrate this that well because I didn't actually realize this was happening. This first area that you fight him on is a little frustrating because the camera is always facing away from this debris for the first portion of the fight and it doesn't become obvious that this is debris for you to stand behind until a little later, like now. That's when I realized with Cloud, hey, I should probably stand back and just let it shoot the debris. Eventually, you will move on to a different platform and things get a good deal easier. So we're just going to keep everybody topped off. Uh, when the boss comes down uh, closer to the platform, that is when you can jump up with Cloud and Tifa, do some attacks, but for the most part, you just got to focus on it with Barret. Um, luckily, though, when the boss gets down to about 90% damage, uh, we'll play a little bit of a cutscene, and then you are going to be able to keep fighting the boss and uh, do a lot more damage to it now that it's on a different platform. So when you're on this second platform here, uh, the boss becomes reachable with just about everybody. So you want to cast Haste with Cloud, uh, and then just, or whoever has the time material equipped, put Haste on everybody, help you take down the boss faster as well as fill the stagger uh, bar faster. That's very, very important. So the boss can put down these AOE fields, and if you stand in them for too long, you will get stunned. And what the boss will try to do is he will burrow into the ground, and then he will start spinning and move towards a particular character. And if that character is stunned, they're in trouble. So you got to keep that in mind. After the boss uh, kind of spins around for a while, it is uh, vulnerable to being stunned. So you want to start laying into it with uh, more thunder magic or uh, you know more air attacks and just you know do your best to kind of stagger it right after it spins through those aoe stun areas as you can see here we already have the stun bar filled halfway and all we've really done is cast uh, lightning magic and air magic and of course since we have uh, the elemental material linked with the lightning material on barrett everything we're doing to him is just bonus damage pretty much and uh more stagger damage so yeah, just keep that in mind. After the boss is staggered, I recommend uh, switching over to Tifa, casting uh, Unbridled Strength with her twice, and then using her uh, triangle ability. This way you can keep building that stagger damage bonus higher and higher. So that's a, a good way to do it. Uh, I also recommend casting Infinity's End with Cloud. It deals a ton of damage to the boss. And yeah, as you can see here, it's already below 50%. Um, but from this stage, things do get a little bit more challenging. It kind of baits you into thinking it's dead, and then it will launch uh, this little pod here, and this kind of acts as a, uh, like the Ray of Dawn from Gears of War. It's like a beam that will follow you, and if it locks onto a character, it'll put down an AOE electricity field in that area, as well as deal like an explosion. So it's there to annoy you and to keep you moving, uh, and it can also place a shield on the boss which will stay on throughout the rest of the fight. So all of your damage is going to be reduced from this point on. That's why it's very important to keep haste on Barret, Tifa, and Cloud throughout. And if you have the barrier material, I recommend casting that as well, keeping everybody nice and safe. So even though your damage is reduced, it will still be uh, susceptible to lightning and air attacks. So, you know, keep pumping it full of that magic damage, and uh, you will deal some decent damage to it, no problem. Uh, eventually, your summon meter will come up. I recommend bringing in either uh, Chocobo Chick or uh, Chocobo Moogle. Some non-elemental attacks if you have Leviathan at this point, very useful. Um, unfortunately, Rama isn't in this game, so you don't have a dedicated lightning uh, element summon. So you got to make do with what you got. So non-elemental damage will work just fine. Let's go ahead and bust out a summon. 
And then since Tifa and Cloud's damage is going to be drastically reduced, I recommend using their ATB to uh, use the summon abilities. The Ray of Dawn will keep following you around. Uh, what you can do, though, is you can actually bait it into uh, using its ability. And this way, you can kind of ignore it for a while, like just bait it into a corner. And then once the AoE starts expanding, uh, you can just let it drop and then just get out of the way. And then it'll stay in that area for quite a while, and then you don't have to worry about avoiding it as much. That's one strategy with it. Uh, we do still want to build the stagger meter, but with this shield, it's going to be quite hard. So uh, the trick here is to really just kind of avoid it and use magic at this point and use your summons. And just do your best to, uh, to not die, although I'm going to do a pretty poor job illustrating that now. It has a bombardment ability, which will drop missiles all over the place. And as you can see here, I'm baiting the the Ray of Dawn to kind of just stay in that one area, and it'll take a while to recharge. So the missiles uh, will deal a good amount of damage uh, if you're not careful. That is the bombardment ability. Um, it does take a little while to charge, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it has a napalm drop. This will uh, bring out like AoE fire areas uh, throughout the platform, so just be careful to avoid those. Uh, and then, you know, eventually if you have a summon out, it'll, it'll start using its ultimate ability. This will deal a decent amount of damage to the boss, um, you know, about 4,200, 4,300, uh, which it also ignores the shield for the most part. So as you can see here, the boss is down to about 10% health. It's going to bring out its rotary cannons, and the shield goes away at that point. So uh, once the boss starts sort of like exploding, as you can see, it's like starting to blow up. Uh, this is your cue to just lay into it with a lot of lightning damage. Just deal as much damage as you can to it as possible before the shield comes back up. And... Uh, yeah, try to bait that Ray of Dawn again if, if you're able to. Keep casting spells. And uh, eventually you will deal enough damage to the boss. As you can see here, it's pressured. So we're going to use Infinity's End. And this should take care of the boss. And there you go. Valkyrie has been defeated. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Final Fantasy VII Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. Don't forget to join my new community Discord server. The link for that is in the video description below. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Always did like a Gotta lead the laser to